Oh, hey guys, what's up? My name is Jess. We are gonna go over a video on how to avoid food rot. So I was scrolling on Reddit, on the Power Word Reddit, and there's been people having issues with this whole food rot scenario. So here's the deal. You need to get yourselves a cold food utility, some sort of cooling utility, such as a cool cooler box, unlockable at level 13, such as a refrigerator, unlockable at level 38, such as a cold food box, end game material, unlocked at level 51. So <clears throat> as long as you have one of those, then you need to get yourselves an ice pal. We got the chill at level one. Van worm level two, followed by a pen king that's level two, or a van worm Chris that's level two, or a Rendrix that's level two. There's a lot of options out there. And then you go for level three, which is a cryolinx. Alright. Level four is the Frost Stallion. Uh well his name real name is Frost Stallion, but I just titled him as Frosty, but anyways. He has access to level 4, so depending on the cooling level will dictate the amount of time you have for how long it takes for a food to expire. So level 1, the, the plain and simple timer is at 140 flat, 180 with boost. The next one is 300 flat with 380 minutes with the boost. Here in the circle, that is the work speed boost, eaten from salads. <clears throat> okay, so level 3 cooling is at 600 flat with 780 with the boost, and here is proof that he chomped on a salad. He had a bit of a food boost. Next, and last but not least, is the level 4 Frost Alley Knocked, looking at a total of... 1,000 minutes. Let me just feed him something. Now let's see what he gives us. When he's dosed up by some lettuce, or salads I guess, it goes up to 1,300. So work speed affects the cooling, keep that in mind. If you got any sort of work speed enhancement uh, juices or foods, put them in the food box and let them eat it. Now here is a warning, when these food utilities, the cooling food utility boxes are unaffected by cooling pals, the time of the expiration on the foods and ingredients will be back to their defaults, 20 minutes and 10 minutes respectively. Okay, this is a bit of a different part of uh, the video so to speak. You see all these salads on screen, you should not do this unless you are willing to lose one of every single tile when that timer goes bye bye. Okay, the only reason why people do this, okay, the only reason why people do this is because they want to eliminate certain tiles for pals to transport into. Okay, this is the highest level food box, so this box has food and ingredients where pals are able to eat out of. They can't eat out of the refrigerator in the cooler box, so that's why. People like to use this specific box more than the other ones. The other one is used with storage, this one's used with storage and eating. And here's the kicker, when they, when the pals start eating, they eat from the left corner and then they go to the right. Left corner to the right. It's just like you're reading a book, okay? I just wanna, I just wanna put that out there because I do this as well. But I only do this because I can afford the loss of salads because the, the, the time is so long, right? and the pals may eat out of it, sure, but I can reproduce the salads at a higher rate than they disappear. And then I also do that to get rid of honey in my food box because honey is considered an ingredient and when you, do, when you use this at a cake base, it becomes a pain. Right here. You're gonna see that there's some honey in here. I don't like this honey being in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna force them to not put honey. As you can see, the food box inventory has no room for honey. They're putting it in barrels and other storage units. Okay, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this has helped you guys in some sort of way. Hope you guys have enjoyed the video. My name is Jess. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Peace.